graphing a quadratic equation. The standard equation for a quadratic equation is f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The y-intercept for a quadratic equation, which will be a parabola, the y-intercept is at c. The axis of symmetry for a parabola is x equals negative b over 2a. And the vertex of a parabola, x equals negative b over 2a. And then we'll solve for the y value for the vertex. The direction of a parabola is either up if a is greater than 0, or the direction is down if a is less than 0. Title of the first section is graphing a quadratic equation. In this section, we'll graph a quadratic equation, which will be the shape of a parabola. The first equation and only equation for the section, f of x equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 9. Using the previous equations and formulas, we can find out information from the quadratic equation, and then we can graph. The y-intercept for a quadratic equation, y equals the value of c, which is the last number, so y equals 9. We'll also have the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry will be the line down the middle of the graph that makes the graph symmetrical. This will be x equals negative b. b in this case is negative 8. So we'll have negative negative 8 over 2 times a or 2 times 2. Negative negative 8 would be positive 8. 2 times 2 would be 4. 8 divided by 4 would be 2. So the axis of symmetry would be at x equals 2. For the vertex, vertex is x equals negative b over 2a, which is the same as the axis of symmetry. So the vertex x equals 2. And for the y value, we'll solve for y by plugging a 2 in to the original equation. And f of x equals, when we solve, f of x will be the y value for the vertex. So solving, we'll have y equals 2, and in place of x, we'll plug in 2. So we'll have 2 times 2 squared, minus 8 times 2, and plus 9. Simplifying, we'll have y equals. Following PEMDAS, we'll do exponents first before we multiply. So 2 squared would be 4, 4 times 2 would be 8. Negative 8 times 2 would be negative 16, and plus 9. Simplifying further, addition, subtraction, we'll do the same time from left to right. So 8 minus 16 would be negative 8, and plus 9 would be 1. So the vertex x equals 2, y equals 1, we can write that as a point 2, comma 1. And last part before a graph is the direction. Direction will either be up or down. Looking back at the original question, which was 2x squared, 2 is the value of a, which is positive, so this parabola will open up. From here we can graph. We can draw the vertex which is 2 comma 1. The first part we found was the y-intercept. The y-intercept is at 9. The axis of symmetry 
If you want to, you can put a dashed line down through x equals 2. This line will make the graph symmetrical on the left side and right side of that line. And the direction for the parabola that goes up will pass through the y-intercept. At the vertex, the graph will turn around. So drawing the parabola through the y-intercept, through the vertex, and up to the other side, that would be the graph for the section. The title of the next section is More Graphing Quadratic Equations. First equation and only equation for the section is g of x equals negative x squared plus 2x minus 6. First uh, equation we can find or first information is the y-intercept. The y-intercept again is the last number, which would be y equals negative 6. Next part, we can find the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry again is negative b over 2a, x equals. So negative b would be negative 2 over 2 times a. a in this case would be negative 1. So we'll have negative 2 over negative 2, which would equal positive 1. The vertex for the quadratic equation or the parabola. Vertex again is the same as the axis of symmetry. x equals negative b over 2a, or in this case x equals 1. And to solve for the y value, we'll take x equals 1 and plug it into the original equation. So we'll have negative, putting 1 inside parentheses to keep it separated, squared, plus 2 times 1, minus 6. Solving from here, again we'll do exponents first before we multiply by negative 1. So 1 squared would be 1, times negative 1 would be negative 1. 2 times 1 would be 2 and minus 6. And again, we'll add and subtract from left to right. So y equals negative 1 plus 2 would be 1. 1 minus 6 would be 5. So y equals negative 5. Writing this as a point, we'll have the x value of 1 and the y value of negative 5. last part we can find before a graph is the direction. Direction will go either up or down based on the value of a, the number in front of x squared. Looking back at the original question, negative x squared, a is a negative 1, so this parabola or quadratic equation would open down. Graphing from here. We draw the y-intercept, which is at negative 6. The axis of symmetry is at x equals 1. The vertex is at 1, negative 5. And the direction goes down, so we'll go through the vertex, through the y-intercept, and draw the quadratic equation for the question. 